we're talking here about rational numbers, which are fractions made from two integers. Um, in decimal, they only make two types. One type is terminated. So you know that if I took 0.5, that I'm really talking about 1 over 2. Or if I took 0.25, that I'm talking about 1 over 4. So they only require a specific number of places in order to exist. One half only needs one decimal place. One fourth needs two decimal places. So that's called a terminated decimal. Another type is called an infinite decimal with repeated places. Take for instance, I'm sure that you've tested using a calculator and have done something like divide one by three. And if you do that, you get something like this, 0 0.333. And maybe you'll get about eight of them, but when we're writing it, we can just put dot, dot, dot. And that means it's an infinite number of threes in order to represent truly what one third is. Well, you might be wondering, how do we get back to turning that into a, a fraction? And so that the way that that works is this. We say that let's let n now equal 0 0.333 dot dot dot, which means it has an infinite number of digits. Well, we can do this. Take 10 and multiply that by n. And if we do that, doesn't that move the decimal place to the right one? And so we have 3.333 dot dot dot. So we have a 3 followed by an infinite number of 3's. Now if I take 10n and I subtract n, then I have 9 of them. 9n is equal to, and if I took 10n, which is 3.333 and on and on and on, and subtract 0 0.333 and on and on and on, I get rid of the infinite repeating decimal because an infinite number of 3's subtracting an infinite number of 3's becomes zero. And so I just end up with three for nine n. Divide both sides by nine, and n equals three ninths, which reduces to one third. Let's continue this idea to show that this works not only with a single digit repeating, but uh, multiple digits repeating. So let's let n this time be 0 0.272727 dot dot dot. So now it's going to take, you need to take a full phrase of the repeat um, and get it to the left of the decimal. So that's going to take, in this case, multiplying by 100 now. So we're going to say 100n is equal to 27.272727 dot dot dot. And so same thing, we're going to take 100 now, 100n, and we're going to subtract n, and we're going to get 99n. Now 99n is going to be 27.272727, and on and on and on, minus 0 0.272727, and on and on and on. And that just leaves us 27. So when I divide by 99 on both sides, I have a reducible fraction, which turns into 3 elevenths. Now I'm using my calculator to show you that 3 elevenths is what we started with, and it's as simple as this. We're just going to take 3, divide by 11, and get 0.272727, which is our repeating decimal. Now I'm going to take this repeated decimal. This is a decimal that repeats after six digits, so it becomes 1.142857, 142857, and on and on and on. So this is how we translate this into a fraction. We're going to take n and say that that's equal to what our repeated decimal is. So now we have n is equal to that repeated decimal. Now we're going to say also, we're going to take as many zeros as there are in the repeated uh, phrase, we're going to take one followed that by that many zeros. There are six digits, and so we're going to take one million and multiply that by n. Now if we do that, that's the same as saying one, four, two, eight, five, seven, point, and we can take our repeated decimal and stick that at the end. And there we have it. Now, if I take that number and I subtract n, I get nine, 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 n, and that's equal to, if I subtracted, these two numbers. 
So what I'm doing is I'm actually taking the infinite number of repeated decimals and I'm subtracting that infinite number of repeated decimals and look at what I have left. One, four, two, eight, five, seven. Now, if I divide both sides by nine, 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 that turns into one on the left, but on the right, I end up now with a fraction. Now, all I have to do is reduce this fraction, and that's gonna be pretty hard, so we're just gonna to go to the computer to do that. But we have just proven that n is actually equal to the fraction 142857 divided by 999999. What we've just shown you is that we can take the digits 142857, that divided by 999999, and get this decimal representation, which is the repeated decimal. Now, I'm telling you that that's a fraction, but we need to see, let the calculator show that that is a fraction by hitting the math key and turning it into a fraction. And so there we have it. That's actually 1 7. And I can prove that by dividing 1 by 7, and we get back to our repeated decimal.